much for being here in my channel again. My name is Katie and I will be sharing with you today about stencil. I started using stencil many months ago but I have not purchased any of um, the monthly plans and all that and then just recently I was able to avail of the lifetime plan that I got from Absumo for stencil so I feel like right now this is the best time to talk about it because i have used it for quite some time already and i have already explored the tool as well and i am now capable of sharing some information about it with you guys so today i will not be sharing the nitty gritty about the tool yet because i just want to whet your appetite a bit about this tool so i'm just going to share with you one of the features that really sold me on finally getting a premium plan for this account now you may ask me how much is stencil so here you go um, let's just click on get stencil and it's actually free for everyone so it's forever free for all the hobbyists out there and in your free account you will be able to create up to 10 images per month and you have limited photo access you will have limited icons as well and you can keep up to 10 favorites now if you want to be an image master and you want to get the pro plan you will have to pay nine dollars per month which you have to pay annually so that means nine dollars times 12 months so with that plan you are able to create up to 50 images per month um, you will have access to more than 2 million photos more than 1 million icons and graphics more than 2,500 Google fonts you can upload your fonts if you have purchased some fonts online you will be able to upload your logo and your watermarks as well and you can keep up to a hundred favorites um, you will have 700 plus amazing templates you will have Instagram SMS um, um, 25 of that for every month and of course you will have premium support and if you pay you will also have a seven day money back guarantee but i can tell you right now i don't think you are gonna request for refund because you will be enjoying stencil as soon as you try to use it already and then there's another plan which is the unlimited one this is the plan that i have right now so then you can create all the images that you want and you will have to pay 12 dollars per month and you will again pay for that annually so you will be charged 12 dollars times 12 months so all the pro features will be included all the things that i've read earlier and then you can create unlimited images as well and you can have unlimited favorites and you will have 100 instagram sms per month that's the billing for the annual now if you opt to be billed on a monthly basis that's also possible so we can toggle this right here and for the pro you will be charged 15 dollars per month instead of the nine dollars times 12 months and for the unlimited that's 20 dollars per month instead of the 12 dollars times 12 months what we are going to discuss today will be how to create code cards using stencil now i'm not gonna discuss with you right now the different parts of stencil because i will be creating a new video which is an introduction to stencil um, and then um, for today our topic will just be concentrating on how to create code cards all right so i'm so excited to do that with you guys because i tell you you will really really like it because it's super easy to create it so code cards uh, where is it used it's actually used most um on social media particularly um using instagram and or facebook here um these are the things this is your kind of your mission control um where you can find the photos uh, icons templates codes uploads logos saved images okay so you may have noticed why is there a codes option right there can you save your codes 
actually, you don't have to. Before, what I do when I create quote cards is I spend some time researching on what quote to use from outside sources like Google, like Pinterest, or maybe even scrolling on Instagram if I wanted to use a quote that is applicable for the photo that I've created or for the, the, the layout or design that I want to use. But with Stencil, you don't have to do that anymore. Eliminate that part of the equation because what you will do is I'm, I'm going to show you and you'll be floored and you will love it. And I think this will be one of your favorite stencil features from now on. All right. So what you need to do is first to make sure that you choose the right dimensions for your design. So say, for example, we will be using a design for Instagram. You need to click here and then look for Instagram photo. So for stencil, the default dimension for Instagram photo is 1080 by 1080 pixels. Now you can also use custom dimension if you want to. Feel free to do that. Just click on set. All right. Now we have a square document, which is the document for Instagram accounts, right? All right. Now we can click on, um, let's choose maybe this hard photo. All right, but let's scroll a bit and see if there are some more photos down here that we can use. All right, I think this is more appropriate for the quote that I'm thinking. All right, so there you go. And automatically, there would also be a text box that will appear. And we don't need it at this point because we will be using a quote from Stencil from the quotes database. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this by pressing here. And then I'm going to the quotes menu. And then here in the search, 100 plus thousand quotes, I'm going to type love. Let me just scroll and see which quote will be applicable for a photo. Hmm. All right, let me. All right, here you go. It says, Love is how you stay alive even after you are gone. So I like this quote. And then um, automatically it will go in the middle of your photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize that just by dragging. And then I'm going to transfer that right here. And if you want to change the font, you can do so by clicking here. All right, let's say we want this font and then I will change the color. By the way, you can also change the text size by adjusting here. And then I'm going to change the text color to white so that it's more obvious. And I'm going to change this as well to white so that it will be visible. Okay. So there you go. That's how quick and easy you can create a quote card using Stencil. Now let's try another photo. I'm just going to save this one. And again, I'm going to create a new image. All right. And I'm going to go to photos and say we wanted a photo of a galaxy. I'm just going to type galaxy. And there you go. We'll have so much photos of the galaxy. And let me pick this one. Just click it and it will go to your file automatically. And then we are going to go back to codes again and type galaxy. Let's see if there are codes associated with galaxy. Or maybe we can choose dreams or ambitions i can't make up my mind i'm sorry all right so keep away from people who try to belittle your ambition small people always do that but they're really great make you feel that you too can become great so i like that quotation so much what i'm gonna do is to change this to white again all right or another option that you can try is to keep it in black but put a background color so let's try to change the color to black again let's see if the background color can make it uh, can make the text pop okay and then we choose white okay and then we can adjust the transparency 
All right, there you go. And I think I'm going to make this smaller. Okay, there you go. And then what we can do is to change the Mark Twain, the author of this quotation, to white so it's more obvious. Okay, there you go. So that's how that's how quick and easy it is to create code cards using stencil. So let's try another design. So let's say I want to remove the background and then I'm going to make the text white. Okay, so this is another option that you can do for your code cards. So there you go. If you have any questions about how to create code cards using stencil, um, please leave a comment on the comments box below. And I'm going to leave the link to stencil as well on the description box. So you can just click that. Um, I hope you try creating code cards using stencil. Let me know your feedback. I would love to hear it. And if you post your code cards as well, if you want to tag me, please go ahead. I would love to see your codes. Um, there you go. I will be creating a, an introduction to stencil in another video. So I'll be recording recording and filming another video to discussing that so you will be more acquainted with stencil so i'm glad that you are back on the channel if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and tap the notification bell as well so you will be notified when a new video is up thank you again for visiting my channel you have a great day or great night wherever you are goodbye now